Amin. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Lent, let us recognize our sinfulness. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonderful way, Grant, we pray, that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. In those days, all the princes of Judah, the priests and the people, added infidelity to infidelity, practicing all the abominations of the nations and polluting the Lord's temple, which he had consecrated in Jerusalem. Early and often did the Lord, the God of their fathers, sent his messengers to them. For he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God, despised his warnings, and scoffed at his prophets, until the anger of the Lord against his people was so inflamed that there was no remedy. Their enemies burnt the house of God tore down the walls of Jerusalem, set all its palaces afire, and destroyed all its precious objects. Those who escaped the sword were carried captive to Babylon, where they became servants of the king of the Chaldeans and his sons, until the kingdom of the Persians came to power. All this was to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah. Until the land has retrieved its lost Sabbaths, during all the time it lies waste, it shall have rest, while 70 years are fulfilled. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom, both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, King of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord, the God of heaven has given to me, and he has also charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever, therefore, among you belongs to any part of his people, let him go up, and may his God be with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my 
the streams of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion on the aspens of that land we hung up our harps let my tongue be silenced if I songs and our despoilers urged us to be joyous sing for us the songs of Zion let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, God, who is rich in mercy because of the great love he has for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Raise up with him and seat us and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from you, it is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for the good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their words were evil, 
For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever leaves the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. First of all, I'd like to welcome all of you to our celebration of this Holy Mass. And uh, I know it is hard, it is cold, and so uh, thank you for your sacrifice to join us on being here and celebrating the Day of the Lord this fourth Sunday of Lent. And for those of you who are watching from home and through the internet, whether it be the teachers from the school, the families of the school, our parishioners who are unable to come. We want you to know that you're not alone, that we're with you in prayer and in this celebration of this Mass. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son so we may have eternal life. And what is the assurance that God loves each one of us? In 1994, there was a TV series, Touched by an Angel, for nine episodes. And the actors, Roma Downey, uh, John Dye, and Della Reese, portray an, an angel coming to people in distress and ended up with a show telling them that God loves you no matter what. In 1989, there was an earthquake right before, a couple of years before the Norwich earthquake. And this earthquake happened in Armenia, in the country of Armenia. And uh, 30,000 people died in the earthquake. And so there were some people who came to the rescue of some people who were trapped in different places. And before the earthquake happened, there was a covenant between a father and a son. And the father promised his son that whenever he was in trouble, the, he would come to his rescue. And so the day came in which this earthquake happened, and it happened that the son at that time, when it happened, he was in the school. And he was trapped with all the classmates in a classroom, the roof collapsed. And so the father came desperately to rescue him and called his name, Arman, Arman, where are you? And from the rubble and from everything else, Arman responded, I'm coming to rescue you. And he said, Father, that's okay, you can start with the others. And so the father began to rescue each of the classmates from, from that place. And Arman, the son, was the last one because the son trusted that his father would come to rescue him. And so for us as Catholics, what are some of the signs that God loves us? we can always go back to the sacraments. The sacraments have two things. One of them is matter, and the second thing is the form. The matter is something that we can grasp at, and the form is the words that the priest normally says in a prayer or in a formula. What is the matter of the, the sacrament of baptism? we know that it will be water. Water, the symbol of life, symbol of purification, symbol of renewal. And the formula will be, or the form will be the words that the priest will say when he baptizes the person, the boy or the girl. I baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. With regards to the second sacrament, the sacrament of reconciliation, the matter is something that it cannot be seen because it is the sorrow of the person and the penance that the penitent will accomplish eventually. 
And yet, in my opinion, sometimes we can see that. Sometimes I can see the tears of the person who comes to receive the sacraments because that person is sorrowful. Other times, the penitent will share those tears because of joy on the mercy of God, the mercy that is received from God. In the third sacrament, the sacrament of the Eucharist, the mother is the bread. And it's not a cookie. It's not a wafer. It is something specifically that the religious sister or in a monastery will make, and they are the hosts for consecration. And so the mother is the bread. In the sacrament of confirmation, the mother will be the oil that the bishop will anoint the confirmandi on that day of the confirmation. In the sacrament of holy orders, that will be the laying on of hands from the bishop and from the other priests coming to the ordination, whether it be um, in uh, the cathedral or in other place. In the sacrament of marriage, it is the, the matter is the exchange of the uh, uh, eternal vows, the marriage vows, that the couple exchange. In the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, that will be, again, the oil in which the priest will anoint the sick person. And so these are signs that help us grasp the love of God in our community, in our own spiritual journeys. And today, from the first reading, we have listened that whoever look at the bronze serpent will be saved from death. That the, if the serpents will bit them, they will not die. For us in this journey of Lent, we look at the cross. And we contemplate the cross, whether it be when we do the stations of the cross, and we realize that Jesus gave so much for us. He died in the cross to give us salvation. And so, my brothers and sisters, as we continue in our journey of Lent, let us pray that the Holy Spirit continue to be with us. Whether it be in our improvement in our own spiritual lives, or whether it be improving in this crisis of pandemic, that very soon we will continue to have, if we can call it a normal life, in our own spiritual journeys to continue to celebrate life the way Jesus wants us to celebrate. In the meantime, let us be grateful to Jesus for dying in the cross for each one of us to give us salvation. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from to God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was in God of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He served for death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is here at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead 
and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one by and I look forward. Even in times of trouble, we are the work of God's hands in quiet trust. We present the needs of the church and of the world. Our response is, Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. That the church be healed of all division and grow in unity, charity, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. That the leaders of nations promote peace and respect the dignity of all peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. That all who care for sick, especially those near death, be a radiant sign of God's abiding love. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. That our St. Paschal Balon community of faith reflect clearly the light of Jesus Christ in our prayers and outreach. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. For all our friends and parishioners who are ill, especially Ariana Prieto, and all those ill with the coronavirus, that they may be assisted by our prayers and be returned to health quickly. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. For all our deceased relatives, friends, and parishioners, especially Rose Arada, Neil Fleming, Mary Elizabeth Betty Brown, Joan A. Rall, and all those who have perished because of the coronavirus, that they may be gathered by the Lord into his kingdom of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. For all of the children and teens preparing to celebrate special sacraments this year and their family's special intentions, we pray to the Lord. Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. For our own intentions, which we mention now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Christ in the desert, hear our prayers. God, you are rich in mercy. Hear our prayers offered to you in faith and grant us the immeasurable richness of faith you promise through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as it is fitting for the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just right during our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. By the mystery of the Incarnation, He has led the human race that walk in darkness into the radiance of the faith, and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin through the waters of regeneration to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and with that end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit <laughs> upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered well into his passion, <coughs> he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which are given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins to this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church has spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, Archbishop, Bishop, Baron, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, Saint Pascal, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We are married to be cursed in life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor to so Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. We pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Christ, your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord.
Several announcements today. The Catholic bishops of the United States, together with Pope Francis, is encouraging all Catholics and non-Catholics alike 
to consider being vaccinated against the coronavirus. The Archdiocese of Los Angeles is also encouraging all parishioners to do their part in bringing the pandemic to an end. In consultation with your personal physicians and after personal research and time in prayer, it would be good to try to understand that we all have a moral obligation to follow the directives from state and health officials to combat the virus that is around us. On our parish website today, you will find an informative letter from the Archdiocese regarding the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is the most controversial of the three vaccines now available. Please take a few minutes to read and better understand why the church is encouraging people to be vaccinated. If you have not been vaccinated, please take some time to research and pray about your participation in halting the spread of the coronavirus. The St. Paschal's Men's Club is holding the first of two Lenten special drive-through fish fries next Friday, March 19th, and again on Friday, March 26th, between the hours of 4.30 and 6.30 p.m. You will be able to drive through our parking lot, follow the directions of the volunteers to behind the hall and choose the fish option plate of your choice. All meals are pickup only to take home. Please help spread the word to our parish community about this special event. All are welcome. St. Paschal's is starting an adult confirmation class this April. All adults looking to complete their sacraments of initiation are welcome. Classes will be Monday nights on Zoom. The adults who complete this program will be confirmed by Bishop Barron with the youth of our parish on Sunday, May 16th. Please contact Frank Williams at the Parish Center for more info. Let us pray. O oh God, who enlighten everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you in all sincerity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, Father. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Be Have a blessed day. See you.